நண்பர்களுக்கு வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் This program is brought to you by Guruji TV. This YouTube video is a translation of the Tamil video of our renowned astrologer Jyotish Mahaguru Aditya Guruji. The link of the original version that is a Tamil video is given in the description box of this video. In my last video, I explained about the effects of different planets in the house of Virgo. and also the effects of different planet conjunctions in virgo the significance of panguni uttiram chandra adi yoga the role of dispositor etc i also explained the criteria for a planet in order to deliver benefits when it resides in the house of virgo in this video i'm going to explain about the favorable dashas successful professions for the native of virgo ascendant and much more i will also explain the characteristics of the native of virgo ascendant and how their standard of living will be and what would be their favorite dashas planets etc whatever i say can be applied to the virgo rashi as well to a certain extent for the native of virgo ascendant the predictions would be more accurate whatever i say for the ascendant will apply to a certain extent for the virgo rashi as well however this is completely based on the ascendant for both the houses of gemini and virgo mercury is the house lord mercury is a significator of education it is also the significator of intelligence if a person should be intelligent or if you find a person to be intelligent the mercury will be strong in the natal chart this is a rule in astrology so for those who are natives of virgo ascendant they will earn their bread by their intelligence the fields such as software astronomy mathematics accountancy will be the professions for the native of virgo ascendant whose mercury is strong the whole world dwells around a small microchip in this current era the software experts will be the native of virgo ascendant whose mercury will be strong among the 12 houses since the house of virgo represents intelligence The house of Virgo is very significant. The native of Virgo ascendant will achieve their goals in their life by their intelligence and will be very great intelligent people. The natives of Virgo ascendant will work related to the fields of intelligence such as astronomy, mathematics, accountancy related to media, related to writing, fine arts, paintings, software industry. For the native of Virgo ascendant whose mercury is residing in the same house will be an all-rounder will excel in all fields will be multilingual will be very intelligent the native will be very knowledgeable this is a rule in astrology the natives who are Virgo ascendant and whose mercury is strong will be intelligent and will work in the fields related to intelligence will be able to command and organize everything from where they are this is a significant point regarding the native of virgo ascendant whose mercury is in good strength there is one more significant feature about the house of virgo this is the only house where the house lord gets exalted in its own house all the other house lords will not get the exaltation status in their own house there are different strengths of a planet like exaltation own house inimical house friendly house and debilitation house based on this we can assess the strength of a planet a planet that gets own house status is said to be good strength 
the highest strength that a planet can attain is the exaltation status all the planets except mercury does not attain the exaltation status in their own house mercury is the only significant planet where it attains both exaltation status and own house status in its own house therefore the native of virgo ascendant has a chance that the ascendant lord can be exalted in their own house so those natives of virgo ascendant whose ascendant lord mercury getting exalted in their own house will be extremely intelligent the special characteristic of the native of virgo ascendant is that nobody can cheat the native of virgo ascendant because they are such extremely intelligent people the native of virgo ascendant will be able to judge correctly what is the motive of another person when speaking to them or when being approached yet they will not express their perception about others they will let other people to go ahead as they are the planets that can do favor to the native of virgo ascendant or saturn which is the house lord of 5th house and venus which is the house lord of 9th house to the native of virgo ascendant and also shadowy planet rahu so the planets that can do favor to the native of virgo ascendant or mercury which is the ascendant lord saturn venus and shadowy planet rahu if these four planets are strong and in good status in the natal chart the native of virgo ascendant are considered to be very fortunate in astrology except the sun and the moon every planet owns two houses in general one of the houses owned by a planet will be an auspicious house and another will be an inauspicious house when the planet owns both the houses as auspicious houses then that planet is said to be raja yogadipati both the houses that the raja yogadipati planet owns will deliver benefits if both the houses deliver benefits to the ascendant then the planet that owns two houses that is two auspicious houses is called as raja yogadipati the native will enjoy the royal benefits delivered by the raja yogadipati planet for the native of virgo ascendant the house lord of the second house and the ninth house is venus the second house gives wealth speech and family and the ninth house helps the native to enjoy the wealth gained therefore for the native of virgo ascendant venus becomes the house lord of two auspicious houses the second house which gives wealth and ninth house which lets the native to enjoy the wealth therefore when the planet venus that signifies the wealth and fortune is very strong in the natal chart it is very auspicious because venus is the raja yogadipati for the native of virgo ascendant in addition to this when venus gets exalted in the house of pisces venus aspects the ascendant house that is virgo there are three planets that travel together always the sun the mercury and the venus the venus and mercury are the two planets that cannot go very far away from the sun astrology is nothing but how we perceive the planets from the earth astrology is based on how we perceive the planets in the galaxy and this is called as geocentric theory we imagine that the earth is in the center and we assume that all the planets are around earth and we make predictions therefore we perceive that these three planets that is the sun venus and mercury are always in close proximity in a natal chart venus and mercury cannot go two houses beyond the house of the sun whether it is preceding or succeeding houses in astrology we call these three planets that is the sun venus and mercury as mukut graham that is three sun planets these three planets cannot travel apart from each other at great distance 
the sun mercury and venus can never go apart for a farther distance very rarely the planet venus or mercury goes far beyond the sun and they will reside alone in a house based on this when venus alone reside in the house of pisces then it strengthens the ascendant house that is the house of virgo by its seventh aspect since the venus aspects the ascendant house with its exaltation status it is considered to be very auspicious i have already told that the planet saturn mercury venus and rahu will deliver benefits to the native of virgo ascendant therefore in whatever the worst case these planets are in natal chart they will not deliver worse effects to the native of virgo ascendant having said this when the ascendant lord mercury despite in whatever status it is though debilitated it will try to deliver benefits the ascendant lord will not deliver worse effects even though mercury is debilitated in the house of pisces it can reside in its own nakshatra this is the only planet that can reside in its own nakshatra even during the debilitation status there are a lot of significant features about the planet mercury the planet that can be exalted in its own house is mercury in addition to this though mercury gets debilitated it can reside in its own nakshatra therefore when mercury reside in its own nakshatra it will deliver benefits to the native of virgo ascendant for the native of dual sign ascendants it is better that the ascendant lord that is jupiter or mercury is in the 6th house or in the 8th house from its own house in a friendly house than the ascendant lord getting the own house status or exaltation status directly having said this even when mercury resides in the house of leo that is 12th house from its own house it will not do worse effects as sun is a friendly planet to mercury mercury treats the sun as its friend so it will not deliver worse effects therefore in any situation the planets saturn venus mercury and the shadowy planet rahu and in addition to this the sun will not do worse effects to the native of virgo ascendant the major planetary period that the native of virgo ascendant should not undergo is the major planetary period of mars i just now explained about the planets that are favorable to the native of virgo ascendant the planet that will do unfavorable results to the native of virgo ascendant is mars while there are planets to deliver benefits there are also planets that exist that deliver worse effects life is a combination of good and bad in the similar fashion there are planets that exist that can do good and there are planets that exist that can do bad the planet that can do worse effects to the native of virgo ascendant is mars i always say that if the native of virgo ascendant does not go through the major planetary period of mars they are fortunate when a native of virgo ascendant does not undergo the major planetary period of mars at all the person is considered to be really blessed the total number of years of the major planetary period of mars is 7 years therefore in any situation when mars is in the 8th house with good strength or when it is in the 6th house or when it is connected with saturn mars will deliver worse effects during the first 3 and a half years or later 3 and a half years if you question the native of any virgo ascendant they would say that their toughest period would be the major planetary period of mars or minor planetary period of mars that is dasha or antar dasha of mars astrology is totally based on science if any of the native of virgo ascendant is an astrologer please observe the life events during the major planetary period that is dasha of mars or minor planetary period that is antar dasha of mars then definitely 
you would have gone through a negative period a tough time well when mars is in conjunction with the moon it will give sort of mediocre effects but when it is in connection with malefics like saturn rahu or even sun it becomes pabatwa consequently it delivers worse effects to the native of virgo ascendant we can observe that when mars is in conjunction with the malefics like saturn or shadowy planets like rahu or ketu and with sun it attains pabatwa and mars will deliver the worse effects to the native of virgo ascendant when jupiter is in kendra adipati dosha for the native of virgo ascendant the jupiter will also do worse effects therefore when the planets such as sun moon mars reside in 8th 6th and 12th houses they will do worse effects to the native of virgo ascendant the shadowy planet ketu will also deliver worse effects if the native of virgo ascendant is fortunate the native will enjoy the major planetary period of saturn mercury ketu and venus during the major planetary period of these planets the native will enjoy a lot of benefits for the native of virgo ascendant since mercury becomes a lord of the 10th house as well the majority of the native of virgo ascendant will earn their bread by investing their knowledge they will be working in the fields related to books paper magazines press software mathematics auditing accounting fields related to mathematics fields related to astronomy astrology fields where intelligence is invested and also fields related to comedy fields related to oratory skills or speech interior decoration and fields related to green color fine arts painting sketching the field of music the native of virgo ascendant whose mercury is strong will be an all rounder their profession will be related to one of the fields that i mentioned now when they choose a profession related to the significance of the mercury when mercury is strong in the natal chart then it will deliver benefits to them having said this when the native of virgo ascendant choose a profession related to the significance of mercury it is really good for their life well in the upcoming video i'm going to explain about the planets in the sign of libra and i'm going to share much more intricacies about astrology thank you well this is question time which is the only planet that can reside in its own nakshatra while it is debilitated let me repeat the question which is the only planet that can reside in its own nakshatra when it is debilitated the link to aditya guruji's website is given below in the description box of this video that is accessible by both ios and android users the link of google play store app is also given in the description box that is available only for android users the tamil version of this video is also available please check the description box and write your feedback to astro.writeus@gmail.com thank you